Let's we know some amazing facts about Antarctica in this article. Welcome to our here blogger Lakshmi Narayan and please subscribe to this channel if you are new to here. It is on the South Pole. It is almost entirely south of the Antarctic Circle. Around Antarctica is the Southern Ocean. It is the fifth largest continent in area after Asia, Africa, North America and South America. About 99% of Antarctica is covered by ice. Antarctica is covered by an ice sheet about 4 kilometers thick. Under the ice it is mostly land although the ice shelves are over the ocean. The Transantarctic mountains divide the land between East Antarctica in the Eastern Hemisphere and West Antarctica in the Western Hemisphere. Antarctica has some important features hidden by the ice. One is Lake Vostok, which has been covered by ice for at least 15 million years. The lake is 250 kilometers long and 50 kilometers wide. Another is the huge Gambertsev mountain chain, which are the size of the Alps, yet entirely buried under the ice. The Gambertsev range has a nearby massive rift valley similar to the East African Great Rift Valley. It is called the Lambert system. Scientists used radar that can work under ice to survey the whole of Antarctica. Antarctica is the coldest, driest and windiest continent. It is also, on average, the highest of all the continents. Antarctica is considered a desert. It has yearly precipitation of only 8 inches near the sea and far less inland. No humans live in Antarctica permanently. However, about 1000 to 5000 people live through the year at the science stations in Antarctica. Only plants and animals that can live in cold live there. The animals include penguins, seals, nematodes, tardigrades and mites. Plant life includes some grass and shrubs, algae, lichen, fungi and bacteria. The first known sighting of the continent was in 1820. Antarctica was mostly forgotten for the rest of the 19th century. This was because of its hostile environment, few resources and isolation. The first official use of the name Antarctica as a continental name in the 1890 is said to have been used by Scottish cartographer John George Bartholomew. The Antarctic Treaty was signed in 1959 by 12 countries. More countries have signed the treaty since then. So far, 46 countries have signed the treaty. The treaty declares that military activities and mineral mining are against the law. However, it supports scientific research. It also helps the continent's ecozone. More than 4,000 scientists from different nations and different interests experiment together. For a long time, people had believed that there was a great continent in the far south of Earth. They thought this Terra Australis would balance the lands in the north like Europe, Asia and North Africa. People have believed this from the times of Ptolemy 1st century AD he suggested this idea to keep the balance of all known lands in the world. Pictures of a large land in the south were common in maps. In the late 17th century, People discovered that South America and Australia were not part of the mythical Antarctica. However, geographers still believed that Antarctica was much bigger than it really was. European maps continued to show this unknown land until Captain James Cook's ships HMS Resolution and Adventure crossed the Antarctic Circle on 17th January 1773. In December 1773,
they crossed it again in January 1774. In fact, Cook did come within about 121 km of the Antarctic coast. However, he was forced to go back because of ice in January 1773. The first confirmed sighting of Antarctica were by three different men. According to different organizations, ships captained by three men saw Antarctica in 1820. The three men were Fabian von Bellingshausen, Edward Bransfield, and Nathaniel Palmer, an American seal hunter out of Stonington, Connecticut. The first recorded landing on mainland Antarctica was by the American sealer John Davis. He landed on West Antarctica on 7th February 1821. However, some historians are not sure about this claim. People began discovering different parts of Antarctica and mapping them. This was slow work because they could only work in the summer. At last a map was made and people began to talk about exploring the land not only the sea. However, this would have been very hard work. They would have to break through the ice that was around Antarctica. Then they would have to land on it and bring in enough things to live on while they explored the land. The first serious exploration of the Antarctic land was the Nimrod expedition led by Ernest Shackleton in between 1907 and 1909. They were the first to climb Mount Erebus and to reach the South Magnetic Pole. Shackleton himself and three other members of his expedition made several firsts in between December 1908 and February 1909. They were the first humans to cross the Ross Ice Shelf and the Transantarctic Mountain Range via the Beardmore Glacier. They were the first to set foot the South Polar Plateau. Robert Falcon Scott, the most well known of all of the explorers, wanted to be the first man to reach the South Pole. At the same time, another team from Norway led by Roald Amundsen started. They both raced each other to the South Pole, but in the end Amundsen won because he had made a good use of his sleigh dogs. Scott had used ponies and motor sleds, but when he got to the South Pole he found a message from Amundsen showing that he had beaten Scott. On his way back, Scott and three companions met a blizzard and froze to death while waiting for it to finish. The people who found him 8 months later also found his records and diary which he had written to the day he died. Climate change and global warming are showing effects in Antarctica particularly the Antarctic Peninsula. Today people explore Antarctica using snowmobiles which are faster than dogs and can pull heavier loads. Many come to Antarctica just for a short visit. There are companies in South America that have vacations to Antarctica, so people pay to go there on a ship. Thank you.